Hey, hello, it's Brad here, and today we're going to be talking about the best M4 class in Modern Warfare. This class is used by Nadeshot, and if you have been part of the Cut community for the past 10 years, you of course have, you have heard of Nadeshot. He's one of the biggest people in the Cut community right now. He started out as a player for teams like Optic and Envy, and now he has his own team, uh, 100 Thieves. You probably also have heard of that team. So if it's used by him, the class is probably really good. So let's not waste any time and let's go in-game. So I've been using this class in both Warzone and Multiplayer and I can tell you it's great in both game modes. As you can see I have two classes, one is for Multiplayer and the other one is for Warzone as you can see. And definitely if you haven't made any special classes for Warzone I really recommend you do it. I will also make a video on the best classes for Warzone so definitely hit the subscribe button if you're excited for that. We will start with the class for Multiplayer and after that we will get to the Warzone one. So of course the most important part of the class is the M4 so let's show you what I've got on there. Let's start with the muscle, I have a monolithic suppressor, for the barrel I have a stock M16 and then a ranger 4 grip, ammunition 60 rounds, you really need those 60 rounds when you're playing warzone and also in multiplayer for modes like hardpoint where there are a lot of people just nearby you and, and believe me those 60 rounds you're gonna need them. And for the rear grip we got a granulated grip type. Of course the camo doesn't really matter, maybe in warzone it makes a little bit more difference but for multiplayer you're running out so much like it doesn't really matter in there. Also if you haven't unlocked a couple of these parts you could for example use a lightweight suppressor instead of a monolithic one. As you can see, it, yeah, the range is a lot better with the monolithic one, but you should be fine with the lightweight one. Instead of the Ranger foregrip, you could use the Merc one. It's also a pretty good one. And of course, if you haven't unlocked the 60 mag, you could also use the 50 mag. Also, if you really want an optic, I think the iron sights are pretty fine, but you could also switch out the ammunition for an optic, or, or maybe you could change the barrel. But as always, you really need to try it out for yourself and get a feel for what you like the most. As you can see, the range is a lot better. Also, the accuracy is a lot better. It's almost just a laser beam. As you can see, we took a lot of the mobility away, so you won't be running around with this one. But if you're going for high kill streak matches or you're playing in Warzone, of course, you won't be running around that much because you need to be a little bit more careful with what you do. And for the sidearm, I'm using the Renetti. And if you look at the Renetti, the mobility is super high. So, for example, if you're playing hardpoint and you need to rotate, you can just switch to your Renetti and then you can just run around. I currently don't have much unlocked for the Renetti, but I would add an MK1 competition barrel, maybe some other barrels in the future. Um, you could add this trigger one, but just the stock ready is really good, believe me. And perks is something you need to also play around with yourself. If you're going for high kill streak matches, I would recommend Kill Chain. As you can see, I have been using UEV, VTOL, and Support Helo. So if I get my VTOL, I place it down, and the VTOL makes three kills, I already have my Support Helo. So that's really nice with this perk. Of course, you could switch it out for a Quick Fix. Quick Fix is also a really good one. You could try Scavenger, but I haven't really felt the purpose for that. Double Time is also always a good one. For the second perk, I have Ghost. Ghost isn't as useful as in previous gods. If you're going for a high kill stick match and you have a power position, probably people know where you are, but if someone doesn't know where you are and they pop a UAV, they can just go to you, see where you're sitting, and yeah, they are down. So I like to use Ghost for that just in case someone pops a UAV. I also have tried Point Spam, but I haven't really liked that one. If you don't feel the need for Ghost, you could use Overkill, and if I would be using Overkill, I would be using an MP7. The MP7 is basically a laser beam right now in the game, so use that one. Also, if you want to see an MP7 class, let me know down in the comments and I will make one. Another good perk is Hardline. It just makes your kill streaks one kill less. But if you're holding down power position, you will easily get one extra kill. And for the third perk, I would use Amped just because you can switch uh, faster to your secondary. Better Hardened is also a really good one, but I found Amped really useful. For Lethal, I would use a C4, but you can also use a Frag or Semtex Grenade. Claymores aren't as good anymore as at the start of Modern Warfare, but they're still useful if you're holding down power position. And in multiplayer, I have been only running stims like they are so useful, definitely in games like uh, Hardpoint or Domination, when you're like holding an objective, Sim can save your life a lot of the time. So let's go to the Warzone glass. Uh, of course, it's the same one as we did before. So yeah, just copy this one if you want to. And then I've used Overkill. As you can see, I have an AX50. Out of the 32 inch factory barrel, as a 7 round mag, you could also do a 9 one, but 7 is enough. Simple good tape and focus. And then for the stock, I went with a Singard Arms Evader. As you can see, it just adds a lot of range and mobility to the sniper. Really useful in Warzone. For the perks, I went with Quick Fix. For the first perk for Warzone, I went with Quick Fix. Quick Fix can save your life a lot of the time. Definitely if you have a lot of close quarters combat. Then as I said, overkill. And a quick tip for Warzone, if you get your first loadout drop, get the overkill class. And if you buy a second loadout drop or you find one on the map, 
select your ghost class. This makes it that people can't see you on a UAV because UAVs are really OP in Warzone. And then again, I used Amped just because you can switch faster to your secondary weapon. And then as I said in Warzone, if you have these close quarters battles, you really want to be fast and you want to have quick fix just to get some extra health back and you want to have Amped just so you can switch faster to your secondary weapon. Because a couple of milliseconds can make the difference between winning or losing. And then again, as in the multiplayer class, I use C4. You could again go for a frag or a Samtex. A Thermite might also be good for Warzone, but if you down someone and you're close to them, you could just pop a C4 and kill their team. And then a big difference to the multiplayer class, I use a Heartbeat Sensor instead of a Stim. A Stim could also be useful in Warzone, but these Heartbeat Sensors are so OP. Definitely so <laughs> you need to be using a Heartbeat Sensor. I'll also be making a Warzone Tips video, so stay tuned for that. So in my MP, and this is definitely the best M4 class in the game right now, and I will show you some gameplay with this M4 so you can see how good it is. And if you enjoy these class videos, definitely hit the like button and comment what weapon you want to see next. Also, by liking and commenting, you help me out with the YouTube algorithm so my video will be higher and a lot more people will see this video. So if you could do that, that would help me a lot. Enjoy the gameplay and I will see you in the next video. Nee, is it boven? Kijk, you have these belts staan above. Belts staan above. Oh, yeah, by me. I have a drone, I have a drone. Nice. Ik heb er eentje eliminated. Yo, let's go! Team wiped! Er zit er nog één als het goed is. Oh, wat ben jij? Ja, ja daar, 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 loop daar. Nice, heb je team wiped? Ja.